What's up YouTube? It's Sydney Island here. That's Island with the Y, not an S. In this video, I'm coming to you with Gemini's most annoying habits. The first thing that I find annoying about Gemini's is how unreliable and inconsistent y'all are. A lot of Gemini's that I have uh, been friends with in the past have not been very reliable. Um, we would make plans to hang out and they would just not show up. Um, not it, like no show. They wouldn't even text you to tell you that they weren't gonna show up. They just not show up. They'd be like, yeah, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. And then you'd be waiting for them and waiting for them and waiting for them. And they never text you. They just don't show up. They won't even tell you that they're not gonna show up. And that is to, that to me is really irritating. It's really annoying. And that's the thing that'll make me not want to hang out with you or not want to deal with you because I'm a Taurus and I just don't have time for inconsistency like either you're hanging out with me or you're not either we're friends or we're not a friendship is not you constantly trying to hang out with somebody but never being able to number two Gemini's are liars and I, I feel like it's because Gemini's just like to have control and they, they also have um, a thing with image they um, they like to do stuff crazy stuff that shocks people and, and stuff like that. So they'll they'll lie to make themselves um, seem more interesting. That's that's classic Gemini. They'll stretch the truth, exaggerate. Uh, Ge Gemini's are famous for exaggerating the hell out of the truth, just to to seem interesting, just to seem you know different. And the thing is, is that Gemini's may. Um, may not really know who they are and they may have issues with their identity but they'll try to come off like they're so original and like they're so unique when in reality they're just pretending it's just an act gemini's can be actors and actresses number three gemini's um have a serious case of diarrhea of the mouth gemini's y'all don't know how to shut the hell up <laughs> y'all don't y'all will just keep talking and talking and talking and from my experience i typically like gemini's because they are so communicative but when a dark side of Gemini keeps talking they'll say stuff that is inappropriate or offensive just for shock value they'll just say it just to to kind of make you feel something or, or to kind of surprise you because Gemini's are addicted to like just excitement and, and surprise and stuff like that so Gemini's when they talk they just say stuff that's offensive and I feel like that either they know it's offensive or they don't care I feel like it's mostly just because they know it's offensive and so they they say it to offend people specifically to offend you they're not trying to you know be super sweet or nice they'll say the, the meanest shit just to say it you know just to get a rise out of you just to get some type of excitement you know, because they need that kind of stimulation. They need for their external world to be exciting. And they need to provoke something in you. Because they don't like for you to just sit there and be chill. Um, some famous celebrity Geminis who have this, this case of just, you know, just talking and, and, and not thinking before they speak. is Donald Trump and Kanye West. Yes. They say stuff that gets a rise out of people. Y'all Y'all saw how... Um, the stuff that Kanye West says, it just sweeps throughout the internet and everybody's like, oh my gosh, Kanye West said what? Kanye West said this? Yeah, he's, uh, it, it's just because it, sometimes Gemini's don't think before they talk or they say so specifically to get the media shaken or to get people riled up just, just to do it, you know, just because they're bored, honestly. Um, you know, we know that Donald Trump, um, has, you know, I mean, if you watch him with his debates or whatever, he's very argumentative. He's always, you know, he always spews something out. He always needs to talk. You know, it's like he has just no chill. Gemini's have no chill, especially when it comes to talking. Jesse Smollett is also a Gemini. Um, we all see he lied. He's a, it's one of the traits. Gemini lying. He had this huge lie, this huge scandal. Gemini's are prone to having huge scandals and, and 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 being in the media for saying the wrong thing. And when I was watching the interview with Jesse Smollett, one of the interviews, first of all, let's just start off by saying that he put on a whole act. And I just got through saying that Gemini's are actors and actresses. Sometimes you can't believe a word they say. They act like they're sincere, but deep down inside, I don't think they really feel any of it. You know, and the whole thing was just an act. The whole thing. Classic Gemini. 
they just they just love to make up fantasies and stories just to entertain themselves and to entertain other people. They can get kind of wrapped up in that and get kind of caught up in that. And that's kind of what happened with Justice Molet. I think this is number three. Um, Gemini's, y'all are annoying as hell when y'all only want to talk about yourselves. Yes. That's a, a classic Gemini trait that is a bad trait. Y'all need to work on that because, you know, when you talk to somebody, you don't always want to talk about that one person and their problems. You know, I've come across a lot of Geminis who only want to talk about themselves. They only want to talk about their problems. They only want to talk about the things that make them excited. But when it comes to you and you start talking, they will pretty much just, you know, their eyes will start to roam around and they won't really be paying attention. They're easily distracted. If it's not about them or if it's not about something that they find interesting, they are not going to listen. I need a friend that's going to shut the hell up and listen sometimes. <laughs> Number four, Geminis, y'all are impatient and restless. Okay, I had um, a couple of Gemini friends who just they can't stand a silent moment they can't stand you know that moment where you just got through talking a lot and then you just need a, a moment to rest like i need a moment to rest after talking a lot and they just can't stand that it's like it makes them uncomfortable i've noticed that the one or two gemini's that i've had this situation with i think the silence reminds them of their insecurities i think the silence makes them it forces them to have to think and gemini's are always in their heads so the silence to a Gemini is their worst enemy. So so when they're hanging out and they're talking to you, you always feel like you need to keep talking to to, to kind of stimulate them. They always they kind of make you feel like they, they'll be really pushy and make you feel like you need to talk, you know? And they just can't stand a silent moment. You always need to be talking. They always need noise and that can be really annoying. Number five, I think, um, Geminis can be extremely moody and they have extreme personality and mood shifts. They can be bipolar. And what I've noticed is that they'll have one side that's super duper like hyper and, and loud and talkative and crazy and goofy and, and sometimes, you know, so active that they need to be violent, you know. Um, and then they have another side that's completely like robotic and monotone and just dead. Like they, it's like they just they seem really depressed and, and slow moving. And then the next minute they're like running around, jumping up and down, acting like a kid. I don't, I'm not sure if I said that Geminis are argumentative already, but yes, they need to outsmart you in a conversation. Um, that can be annoying because sometimes you're just trying to have a regular conversation and a Gemini needs to kind of overpower you with their opinion. Like I said before, this is another annoying habit. Geminis are prone to violence. Um, like Naomi Campbell, um, the supermodel, for example, has been accused of, you know, beating her assistants in the head with a phone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's been accused of being violent on, on multiple occasions, I think. And um, I've known some Geminis that can just get real, real heated real quick and it's dangerous. Another thing that um, annoys me about Geminis is that y'all have a big ass ego, okay? Y'all, y'all can have illusions of grandeur where y'all think that y'all are better than everybody y'all just sometimes think that y'all are like gods you know and that y'all anything that y'all say is always going to be right you know y'all just y'all 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 literally are by nature manic bipolar people like you want me to be super duper manic and you think that you're the best of the best and the next minute you're super insecure and you're depressive that's a gemini and also the last thing that is annoying about Geminis is that y'all can be hella sneaky and hella manipulative. Manipulative. Yeah. So it kind of makes Geminis, um, I would I would say it's hard to trust a Gemini. Yeah, it can be really hard to trust a Gemini because, you know, sometimes they can kind of um, do stuff just to kind of get their way. And it'll be a little bit sneaky. They, they can be really intelligent and really clever. So they use their smarts to kind of, you know, say stuff and make you think a certain way. And they like to, you know, dominate your mental. They like to dominate your mind. They're super mental. They're super intelligent. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's all for y'all today. This was a very successful video. I, I love y'all Geminis. Um, and I, I have a lot to say about y'all because some of the most greatest people are Geminis. Like, for example, for example... Um, Bishop T.D. Jakes is a Gemini, um, and for all for those y'all who just aren't like Christian or aren't really into that, y'all probably don't know who he is. But he's he he preaches, um, and man, like he is so intelligent. And when I when I be um, 
watch his church sermons like he can change your whole life with just a couple of words so that's all i have to say um about y'all gemini's y'all are amazing but y'all do have some crazy shit going on inside of y'all head and some of y'all need therapy okay but i love y'all peace out um like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and when you do subscribe hit that notifications button next to the subscribe button i will be coming out with the last two annoying habits videos and that is uh for taurus and aries my sign taurus not aries i'm a taurus so peace out